Hello and welcome to this video on project operations in the Dynamics 365 environment. And so you may have watched our first video introducing all of project operations and what it can offer for your business. And what we're going to do in this video is talk more about the sales portion of the project operations module. And what we can do is take any sort of contact and information that we have on a possible opportunity and enter it into the system and then take it from there all the way to the signing of the contract. And we'll outline that in this video today. So as you can see, right now I'm in the page called All Leads. And on this page, we have obviously all of the leads. And what leads are is basically a way to enter the information for an early stage opportunity. This is going to be a contact and some sort of basic information on a uh, contract that might be happening in the future where we can enter this information here in the very early stages of. And as you can see here in the lead page, we have several pieces of information that we can work with to show what is actually happening in the early stage opportunity. So we have the topic, we have the order type, we have a associated contact. Um, we have a process that we can move along if there's specific steps that we want to take to make sure that whatever's going on with this specific contact, we're moving that process along efficiently. Um, we can outline the stakeholders that are part of this. We can outline if there are any competitors that are um, competing with us for this job. And then we can also add some more of the company information and where this lead is actually taking place. And this is going to be the first place that we're going to enter any information about the early stages of any opportunity. But once we get past this and once we have more information and it's more formal what we're trying to go through with this company, we can actually turn this into an opportunity. So say we go to opportunities and then we go to another opportunity. So we go in here and we can see that there's a ton of information that's a part of this opportunity now because it has become more formal. We're starting to really finalize what this opportunity is going to look like, what sort of services and items are going to be needed for it. And we can start to see that this is going to be a proper opportunity that's going to get signed off on. So we have things like a budget, um, the currency, who we're actually working with, it all becomes much more formal at this stage that we can see. So we have against stakeholders, the sales team and competitors. We have a process again at the top where we can see how this opportunity is moving along here. And we are able to capture that information very easily and efficiently and share it with all of the team on this one page where we can see all the information. So once we have this opportunity, what do we do with it? Well, the next thing would be is that we're looking to actually quote what's going on. So we're going to go into the quotes tab here and see we already have a quote as part of this that we can click into. As we can see in here, um, there's also all the information related to this specific quote related to the opportunity in here because we want the specific price and we want the proper estimates and quote line items being on this quote here so that we can actually send it directly from the system to the client from here. So this is the summary page and it'll show you all of the basic information about the quote. But if we go to quote lines, we can also see that there's some different items that are available here. So um, the bean fixed quote, it's a fixed price uh, quote. Um, but we can also add different ones to it. So we can add a time and materials billing method to this as well. And we can separate projects. We can include tasks. We can include time. We can do all of the different related fields that we would need to properly show what is going on with this quote. So with this, we can also take a look at some of the different great features of the project operations module, such as the profitability analysis. And so what this is going to do by going into this tab here is looking at what your margins are, um, the revenue, the chargeable costs, and it's going to take all that and really put it in a nice to see uh, format for you to be able to really analyze what's going on and what the life cycle of the project is actually going to look like. And as you can see here, our bars are obviously much bigger in the middle months of the year. 
and are tailing off at the fringes. So that's great to see. And we can use these tools in the project operations uh, module to actually see before we take on any project what it's going to look like and look at those different estimates of what's going on here. So how do we build out this quote? And how do we know what our expected values are going to be? Well, what we have to do is we have to go and take a look at the actual project where we can start to look at the different tasks that we're going to associate with the specific opportunity. So as you can see here in this page, we have the projects module where it's going to also indicate all the information about the, any specific project. And if we go to the tasks bar, And as you can see, when we go to the tasks tab here, it's going to open up all of the different tasks that are part of this project and how we expect it to go out. So we can already start the planning stage very, very early about what needs to be done and in what time frame, who is it assigned to, and the percentage complete if you were already in the project. But basically what this does is it takes all of the tasks that we're going to plan out, we can add all of the different ones to it, and it's going to track all of that in here, which will help us to build out our estimates that we saw on the quoting page. So then the other portion of that is the actual estimates of what is going to happen. So if we open up this page, it's going to open up another table that we can use here to make our estimates. And as you can see in here, there's lots of pieces of information to help build out these estimates. So what is the actual task that we'll be completing, start date, end date, if there's quantities, uh, the units, the pricing, uh, we can add different columns, um, we can look at different scheduling, we can price it out over time, as you can see over here. Um, so different days or weeks or months when these sort of costs will be coming through who they are associated with, and we can really structure this down as granular as you would like to make sure that these estimates are working properly for your company. We want to make sure that they're granular so that you aren't losing any money or that your estimates are going to be as close to the real as possible. The last tab we want to talk about with the sales portion of this is the sales tab, as we can see here. And so as part of the sales tab, what we can see is the different contracts and project quotes that have been sent for this specific contract. So as you can see here, they have several pieces of information, uh, such as the three project contracts and the three project quotes. So all of these quotes have ter been turned into actual contracts. Um, so the employee training has been turned into the employee training project contract and all the same for the other two. So with these, we can see that they are properly accounted for within the system here and with the proper amounts related to the proper customer related to the specific orders. And so what this does is it helps to create a system where all of the information is located in one place for any one project at a time. So anytime there's a new contract created, anytime there's a new quote created, we can associate it directly with the project here and we can manage all of the project through this singular page using any of these different tabs. We can use the sales tab to make quotes and project contracts. We can look at the estimates. We can look at the tasks and start to build out what is the project actually going to look like. And that, again, all stems from what does it look like when we go from the lead, our early stage opportunity, and then to our opportunity. And then finally, we're going to quote and close the deal by collecting and utilizing all the information that we have related to it within the system where everyone can access it. Thanks for listening, and we'll see you in the next video.